In other news, for the first time in four years, the U.S. has published the number of nuclear warheads that the country has in its stockpile. Almost two-thirds of readers surveyed want Australia to consider small modular nuclear reactors as part of the solution for replacing fossil fuels. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. The world is currently fascinated by the biopic of Julius Robert Oppenheimer, father of the atomic bomb. A nuclear weapon is an explosive, which derives its destructive forces from nuclear reactions, either fission or a grouping of fission and reaction of fusions which ultimately produces a nuclear explosion. After the Hiroshima and Nagasaki attacks during the World War II, the world has never seen another atomic bomb explosion. If the world sees more of it, it will simply be the end of the world. If we look into stats, Russia is the country with highest nuclear bombs in the world with 5,889 nuclear weapons. The second in the list is the United States with 5,224 bombs. Also, China, France, United Kingdom, Pakistan, India, Israel and North Korea have their own nuclear weapons, which makes it a destructive force against the whole world. While the world is divided into whether Oppenheimer was a hero or a villain, today's case study focuses on the other side of nuclear energy. Does nuclear energy only cause destruction? No. Nuclear energy has become a part of world economy for many reasons. Today's case study will look into the economic and environmental factors of nuclear energy and find out the pros and cons of becoming a nuclear power. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, nuclear energy is a form of energy released from the nucleus, the core of atoms, made up of protons and neutrons. Nuclear energy is a great producer of electricity as it protects the quality of air by producing mass level of carbon-free electricity. Nuclear energy provides electricity to 28 states of the USA alone and also contributes to some non-electronic manufacturing too. Nuclear energy is already positioned as the fourth sector in the world with generating 10% of world electricity. While coal is in the first position with 37% of world electricity production and it is a great source of carbon emissions on the planet. Nuclear energy is used in the field of medical and also for space exploration. The USA Department of Energy DOE, largely focuses on maintaining the existing systems based on nuclear power and also, developing new technologies based on nuclear energy. One of the main reasons why nuclear energy is highly valued in the developed world is, it is a clean source of energy. In the United States, it is the biggest source of clean energy. 800 billion kilowatt hours of electricity is produced by nuclear energy plants every year only in the USA and it is helping the goal of achieving net zero carbon emissions by the year 2050. More than 50% of the United States' emission-free electricity comes from nuclear power. By using nuclear energy, the United States avoids the emission of 470 million metric tons of carbon yearly. To reduce 470 million metric tons of carbon emissions, you need to remove 100 million cars from the roads. Nuclear energy is also a great provider of jobs for the people. In the United States, nuclear energy provides $60 billion of GDP every year. In one single plant, the government can employ around 700 to 800 people which makes it a large contributor to national income. Also, the salaries in nuclear energy plants are around 30% higher than other regular jobs. So, Americans always appreciate working in nuclear energy plants. Also, with the increased income and salaries, the workers of nuclear energy plants provide more to the federal taxes. As nuclear energy is a threat to the safety of any country, it is significant to ensure leadership in this sector to be superior within world politics. And, the United States have the strongest nuclear energy sector in the world. This helps the country in maintaining power. Also, Italy, Belgium, Germany is hosting nations of nuclear weapons for the United States. This shows the country's dominance in the nuclear sector. However, the biggest rival of the US in terms of military power, Russia also has Belarus as the hosting nation for its nuclear energy. Though nuclear energy is a significant factor of power in the modern world, there are some serious challenges a government has to face due to the use of nuclear energy for economic and military purposes.
Nuclear weapons have created such a negative impact on people's mind that, commercial nuclear is seen as a dangerous or unstable process to the general public. No one would blame them as everyone knows about Hiroshima Nagasaki or Chernobyl disaster of 1986 in Soviet Union. Media has also played a large part in it as people have always heard about the negatives of nuclear energy since the beginning. Another challenge faced by nuclear energy development is its higher level of investment. Stakeholders do not want longer-term projects and want faster results in the era of modern technologies. And, conventional nuclear reactor designs are considered as multi-billion dollar projects. The main reasons behind these are 1. Higher cost of operations 2. Regulations and approval costs 3. Large cost of capital 4. Longer-term constructions However, the United States government is working on building two reactors which will be the first two construction of nuclear reactors in the last 30 years. These two reactors are at Plant Vogdal in Waynesboro, Georgia. And, these two reactors will provide jobs for around 10,000 people during the construction which will be an immense contribution to the economy of the United States. Also, more than 800 permanent jobs will be created after the constriction of these two plants. Though nuclear weapons are seen as the weapons which will destroy the world, nuclear energy is exactly the opposite. Nuclear energy is a key factor in building a greener future where every country in the world is concerned about reducing carbon emissions. And, following a nuclear energy-based model, global carbon emissions could be reduced to an immense level. So, the adoption of nuclear energy and strengthening a powerful nuclear sector is a necessity for the world.